When it comes to the fight against COVID-19, we've heard the advice repeatedly. Avoid large crowds. Practice physical distancing. Wear your mask and wear it properly. Wash your hands frequently. Stay home when you're sick and get vaccinated. But as cases continue to surge, fueled by the Omicron variant, a less talked about tool likely to be called upon more. It'll be important that we match the distribution of therapeutics, drugs. Uh, there are some that now help. There are monoclonal antibody treatments that help. We're working on that plan very aggressively uh, and, and assuring that we'll be able to have access uh, to uh, an expanded availability of monoclonals. Monoclonal antibodies synthesized by medical companies, the treatments are put into IV infusions and help jumpstart the body's immune system to protect against severe COVID-related outcomes. Patients who get these antibodies they generally feel much better within a couple of days, and we know in big studies that their risk of hospitalization goes down by about 70 to 80 percent. Infectious disease doctor Zane Chagla in Hamilton leads one of the few clinics in Ontario working to get therapeutics into the arms of unvaccinated or vulnerable patients who test positive, are symptomatic, and have mild to moderate symptoms. Time is of the essence, though. The hour-long treatment needs to be administered within seven days of symptoms showing. We don't do any additional tests. We bring people in and we just give them the infusion if they meet criteria. But with Omicron spreading rapidly, access likely to become more difficult. An Ontario government spokesperson tells City News there are only around 1,000 doses on hand of Satromavab, the drug Chagla says is proving most helpful for Omicron cases, with an unconfirmed number of doses on the way in the coming weeks. There are also around 2,200 doses of Regeneron, but Chagla notes it's largely proving effective just for Delta cases, which are being eclipsed by the latest variant. Chagla says vaccines are still the best preventative measure against Omicron, and while in-demand therapeutics are helpful for some, this is uh, unfortunately a freight train that keeps getting faster and faster. And and again, you know, we have to be cognizant of the fact that the health system is going to be under stress in the next few weeks. For more on this story and Chagla's clinic, go to citynews.ca. In Toronto for City News, I'm Nick Westall.